Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's tutorial is going to be on how to do this Senegali twist um, using um, the individual crochet method by Jazz Nicole. Um, but mine has a slight um, twist to it. So instead of just um, gripping like the root of the head and braid it, what I do is that um, I prefer to thread the root of the hair. Um, my reason for that is because it helps me to grip the root better and for my scalp to be more defined. So this is it. Okay, so when I put this is it, it's all been crocheted. Okay, so let's slide right into the tutorial. Okay, so um, I'm going to um, part the hair I left into two. Okay, and I'm going to um, tuck this one um, under the hair, uh, under my ear, so that um, it doesn't interfere with um, the pattern that I just made. Okay, after that, I'm going to um, apply a little cream to my hair so that the hair doesn't dry out um, inside the braid, and also helps to keep um, the hair together. Okay, then after that, I'm just going to take my thread. Okay, so here we go. Um, that's the thread I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to take my scissors. Then I just cut um, the thread. Okay. Then after that, um, I'm just going to make a knot at the end um, of the thread. So here we go. And yeah, that's just my knot. Yeah, okay. So then um, I'm going to now wrap the thread around the hair. And this is just like doing the African um, threading method to stretch your hair. So it's just um, the same thing. But just that with this time, you're not going to do it all the way till um, you reach like the end of your hair. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm just wrapping it around um, my head. Okay, so you can just do it any number of times you want. Okay, then after that, you just secure it by making a knot. And here you go. Okay, so I decided um to secure it with um two knots. Okay, so that is it. I'm done. Then I just take my scissors to cut on the thread. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to divide the hair into two. Then I'm going to start twisting the hair. Okay, then start twisting the hair. Okay. So you're just going to um, twist the hair. Yeah, you just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. Okay, and that is it. Okay, so now I'm going to um, crochet the Senegalese twist. So here we go, that's the Senegalese twist. Okay. Uh, and that's the method I use in crocheting it. So take the pin, you pass it under the hair that you just threaded. Okay, then after that, you take the loop part of whatever hair you're using. So in this case, that's a Senegalese twist. Okay, I flip it up. Then you close it, then you pull it under the hair. Okay, then I take the tip of the Sankalese twist. Okay, take the tip of the Sankalese twist. I prefer to use a crochet pen to pull the hair through the loop. And I pull it through. Okay, and one more thing to that. For me, I prefer to also pass my hair through the loop. The reason why I do that is so that um, it helps you to get a very clean part for the skull. And it looks um, more realistic um, when you pull the hair through the loop as well. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So that's what I decided to pull the hair through the loop. Okay, and pull the knot to the end of the skull. 
purple. So if you take a oh, look at this, you see, if you pull the hair through, it looks like you know you grabbed the root of your hair and it's like you braided the thing at least twist it. So it doesn't look too much like wash crochet. Okay, then you start unraveling your twist. Then you twist <laughs> your own hair through the thing at least twist. Yeah. Okay, so that is it. Okay, so you just keep um, twisting your own hair through the Senegal twist. You do it so long that end so your own hair ends. Okay. Alright, so there you go. Okay, so I'm done. So um for the last one, it's the same steps that you're going to you take a thread, you grab the roots of your hair. Then you use you take the thread around the hair. Okay, so as I said, you just do it the number of times you want to twist um, the thread around the hair. So when you're done, you form the knot. And after I take a little thing, I put it into my hair. And I'm going to divide the hair into two. Then I'm going to start twisting the hair. Okay, they just keep twisting, twisting on here. Okay, so when you're done, you take your crochet pen again and then you send that is just. Okay, so you pass the crochet pen under the hair that you just turned it. Okay, and then you're going to put the Senegalese twist into the crochet pen. Yeah, so here you go. Okay, take the loop part of the Senegalese twist and put it into the crochet pen. Then you close this. Okay. Then you pull this and grab the tip of the Senegalese twist. Okay. And you pass it through the loop. Okay, but as I said earlier on, um, I like to pull my own hair through um, the loop as well. Because I think um, that helps to make it look more realistic. Okay, so here I go. Okay. Alright, then pull the knot to the end. Okay. You start twisting your own hair in the Senegalese twist. Okay, yeah, so just keep twisting um, your own hair through the Senegalese twist so you get to the point where your own hair ends. Okay, so um, that was it. Okay, so yeah, I appreciate every single one of them, but they look like they were um, it was needed from the start. Okay, so I just um, braided um, this one just to demonstrate something. So when I braided it, you see it looks loose. I wasn't able to grip the root of the hair very well so that doesn't give me very um, neat patterns under my hair thank you so much uh, for watching and as you see with the individual crochet in the bottom um, you could style the hair any way you want to okay so i'll leave in um details of um this hair and my description box okay all right so Thank you for watching. Okay, please um, click and um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.